Hi there and welcome to part two in my series on using the new LightCloud online profile builder for LightRider and my DMX Go. In my previous video I showed you how to create a fairly simple profile for a kind of a parkan type fixture uh, using red, green, blue um, and other similar channels and we also introduced uh, a dimmer and a shutter and strobe. Today I'm going to extend that thinking uh, to show you how to create a profile for lighting fixtures that have multiple light beams. And by that I mean uh, lighting fixtures that have uh, multiple LEDs that can be controlled independently. So something like the ADJ Chameleon Q-Bar Pro or the Chauvet DJ Slim Beam Quad or in fact any other bar or baton type fixtures where you can in fact control individual LEDs. Uh, some of the cheaper bars and batons can only ever be one colour but some, some, uh, some actual batons and bars do allow you to control the individual LEDs so you can create some nice effects by changing the colors um, as they ripple across the bar for example. Okay so let's dive in, let's go and create a, a fixture profile so we click the plus at the top of the screen, uh, I'm going to click create, choose a brand and for this I'm going to create a, uh, a kind of a profile for the for the Slim Beam Quad so I'm going to give it a name Slim Beam, I think it's actually two words, Slim Beam Quad and then click create. So this takes me to a blank profile. Um, I'm going to keep this relatively simple again. I'm just going to add the four colours that the Slim Beam Quad can use, which is red, green, blue and amber. And I'm going to throw in a dimmer and a shutter and strobe channel for good measure and click Add Selection. So these are the types of channels that are, are used in each of the channel modes uh, for the Slim Beam Quad. Um, uh, from my previous video, you'll remember that we also have to add a little something to the dimmer channel, so we have to give it an actual range. So you click plus and you choose dimmer, hit the little save button, and that will give the dimmer channel a whole range of 0 to 255. And again, you can, if you click this, you'll see it has uh, a preset name, it's the default channel, and it has a DMX a, a default value of 255, which means that when your, your lighting fixture starts, the dimmer is all the way up. Uh, and therefore the light is at full brightness. Uh, shutter and strobe, you'll remember again that we have to add something to this. Um, I'm going to create uh, uh, three ranges again. I'm going to choose an open uh, and then a strobing and then another open and then click save. So that will add the three values. Um, you can, I've, I didn't mention this yesterday, but you can actually, uh, you can use the, the up and down uh, kind of selectors here. So I can click and hold this and choose the value so I can say this is going to go from 0 to let's say 31 uh, for this and then uh, if it's going to remember it which it isn't and you can type it in there as well which is even better let's do that so you can type 0 to 31 um, I'm going to change the, the uh, 172 to uh, 249 press enter and then open again will be uh, two, uh, two Sorry, not two. I should have put 250. It doesn't really. Mean. What's important is these values match your user manual. Um, okay, I'm I'm uh, I'm just typing in some values here, but it is important that the ranges match the user manual for your lighting fixture. So, okay, so we fixed um, dimmer, shutter, and strobe, and I'm going to go to mode one, and I'm going to keep this one really simple. But actually, there is something else I need to do first, and that's to tell this fixture profile that this light has more than one beam. We need to tell it that it has three beams and it, to do that we go into properties. Now on the right hand side there is a little uh, indicator that talks about beams count and this is where you define how many light beams your fixture has. So in the case of the slim beam quart it has three individual uh, uh, beams okay and they're kind of horizontal as you look at them. Uh, some fixtures uh, might have uh, three vertical beams and you can kind of represent that here as well uh, if you wish. Uh, you will get some fixtures uh, that might be a matrix type which could be a three by three so you can click uh, plus here and have a whole range of uh, different um, arrangements of LEDs. But for the slim beam quad I'm going to keep it really simple it's going to be uh, three horizontals. Now there's one more thing we need to do here uh, before we're finished and that's to give each of these beams a number and to do that you click the little one to nine button 
uh, which is called sort and fill. So you click that and then it puts a beam number into each circle. So we've now got beam number one, which is the LED on the left, beam number two, which is the LED in the center, and beam number three, which is the LED on the right. Okay, so that's, we've now told this profile that this particular light has more than one beam. Okay, so I'm going to go back into content now and I'm going to create channel mode one. And this is where the magic happens. Okay, there's a really simple way of creating this fixture. So I'm going to click plus and I want to choose red, green, blue and amber. Okay, and I'm going to, but rather than just clicking add selection and saying I want to add one lot of those, I actually need to add three of them because there are three reds, three greens, three blues and three ambers for each of the LED. So there's the LED on the left, LED in the center, LED on the right. Now this is where something slightly different happens. When I click add selection, uh, the, the profile builder uh, will say to me or ask, so how do you want to number uh, those beams? Do you want to just leave them all as they are? Do you want them to be, uh, or do you want them to be incremental? Um, as in, give them a, a number. Um, for this, I'm, I'll, I'll show you uh, how this works if you choose no modifications, because it works just fine. So, uh, and you'll see the results in a moment. So I'm gonna leave this as no modifications, but the beam assignments, now that is important, okay? I need to give those numbers and I need them to be incremental because I need the first group of red, green, blue, and amber uh, to be beam number one. I need the second group to be beam number two and the third group to be beam number three. So, uh, that, and that's what incremental does. So what the, for the selection here, you need to choose incremental. Start at number one and I'm gonna click save. And now you'll see what happens. So. What I've done is added three groups of red, green, blue, amber. This is group number two, red, green, blue, amber, and group number three, red, green, blue, amber. But if you look over on the right hand side, you'll see which beam this is associated with. So this is the red channel for beam number one, the green channel for beam one, uh, the blue and the amber. But when I look at channel number five here, this is the red channel for beam number two, red channel, for, uh, green channel for beam two, blue, amber, etc. And then this is the third one is the red channel for beam number three. Okay, so that's that's how you very quickly create a profile uh, for a light fixture that has multiple beams. Now, uh, this makes it nice and easy if you've got uh, if you've got complex fixtures, uh, something like, I don't know, let's say you've got a bar that has eight individual LEDs or you've got something like, I don't know, like a, a Chauvet DJ Freedom Stick, which has 16 individual LEDs. So that has up to 48 channels. Now it will take you a very long time to add all of them, uh, but you can simply use the plus here um, and, uh, and add them very quickly because you can add them uh, say 16 times and it creates a profile very quickly. Um, I'm gonna create a mode two just for good measure because I can. So this time I'm gonna have red, green, blue, amber. I need to do the same thing again. So I want to create three of them. You'll notice I'm not choosing dimmer and shutter and stroke because I don't want those to be added three times. I only want those to be added once. So I'm gonna add those in a moment. Click add selection, leave the name uh, with no changes. The beam assignments, I want them to be incremental from one and boom. Okay, so there they are. There's the, tw uh, the, the 12 that I've just created and then I'm going to add a dimmer and a shutter and strobe as well. I only want one of those. I'm going to choose add selection. Uh, hang on a second, I think I might have just clicked the wrong one there. Uh, click that. Uh, dimmer, shutter and strobe, add selection. Um, oh, no, this is correct, actually. I, my apologies. So this asks me, uh, do I want the, uh, the shutter and strobe to apply to all beams? Um, uh, and in this particular case, with this fixture, it does. So I'm going to choose assign all. Okay, so you're now, if, I, if you'll, you'll notice if I click the amber channel, it's only selected beam number three. But if I look at dimmer, they're all selected. Uh, shutter and strobe, they're all selected. So this profile builder is actually pretty comprehensive and allows you to do some quite clever things. Um, now this profile uh, is good to go. You'll see at the top right, if I click here, the profile checker, no errors, uh, no warnings. Uh, and that's it. So that's how you create a profile 
for a fixture that has multiple LEDs. I've seen some people in the past uh, going over into the kind of channels here and, and trying to add red like three or four times. Um, and you don't need to do that. And if, you're, if your fixture has a red channel, you need to add it once here, but it's, it's in these views, in the channel mode views, uh, that you need to add it multiple times. And the little plus at the bottom helps you there um, because it will ask you uh, how many times you want to replicate it. So it's pretty cool. Um, works really well. Um, I've, cre I've created profiles and used them uh, using this method uh, and it works brilliantly. As I said, I've used it for the the, uh, the ADJ uh, Chameleon Q-Bar Pro. I've used it for uh, Chauvet DJ Freedom Sticks. Um, and I've also uh, helped some other people create profiles that uh, for use with bars and, uh, and battens and things like that. Right, okay, that's it for now. Um, as, as always, if you've got questions, you can head over to the, uh, to the Light Rider and My DMX Go Help and Support Facebook group. You can add uh, your questions here in the comments if you wish. Uh, and uh, next time I'll be looking at another aspect of the profile builder, uh, probably using something like pan and tilt to get us started using uh, creating fixtures uh, for things like moving heads. All right, but until next time, I'll see you then. Thank you.